Reddit Fresh. Am I the idiot for wearing my wedding ring to my sister's wedding against her wishes and hijacking her night? My sister, female 29, got married last Saturday. The ceremony was beautiful and I enjoyed myself as much as someone who is famously not a wedding guy could. The dramatics were not quite as enjoyable. I, male 27, hadn't seen my family in a few months and we've only had a handful of phone calls over the course of those months. It's never on purpose that I pull one of these disappearing acts, it's mostly out of habit. I've been fiercely independent for most of my life and I get easily caught up in whatever I'm doing at the time that makes it hard for me to remember to keep those not in my direct line of sight in the loop. My mother is the same way. It's also nice visiting around times when big events like this are going on as my mom is prone to hovering whenever I'm home, and this takes some of the spotlight off me. I had been in Ireland around eight months prior to flying in last Thursday. I was originally there to spend two weeks with my best friend who, thanks to the aforementioned one-track mindedness I possess, I had unfortunately grown apart from within recent years. Ours was a friendship that had started since we were 14 and was one of the most important relationships in my life for over a decade, and I wanted to put more effort into it so I didn't lose it. He was spending time overseas to reconnect with his heritage since his father's passing. I was already traveling, and my stay obviously turned out to be a lot longer than two weeks. It also turned into us getting married. Funny how life works out. About two weeks before our trip to the States for my sister's wedding, I sent out a mass email to close family letting them know that me and my husband were married. I wanted to assuage any possibility of us stealing any thunder right from the get-go. My mom replied that she was hurt that she wasn't told sooner or allowed to be there, which I understood. It seemed her mood flipped by the time we met in person, however. Rehearsal dinner was on Friday, and that was where we all met up for the first time. My mom was overjoyed to see me and my partner and spent a large part of the night telling stories about how she had always predicted there was something different about my friendship with him compared to others I was close with in high school. It was a very sweet moment. But at the end of the night, my sister pulled me aside and asked if we would not wear our wedding rings to her ceremony. I was confused, so I asked why. She said I was taking the attention off her and she was already bitter that I hijacked her rehearsal dinner. More families might take notice if I wore my ring tomorrow and caused a similar incident. I refused. Like I mentioned before, the ceremony was beautiful, but she didn't speak to me for the rest of the weekend and we ended up leaving the reception early. Am I the idiot? You're the idiot. You were married for three months and you chose to announce your marriage just two weeks before your sister's wedding. Then her rehearsal dinner became you and your spouse's debut not only as a couple, but as a married couple. I don't think people's lives should be on hold, but I do think that when it comes to milestone events like a wedding, the guests of honor should have the entire spotlight to themselves and people shouldn't take away from that. You had to know that handling things this way was going to take attention away from your sister's big day. You're the idiot normally asking someone not to wear their wedding ring would be a bats hit crazy request, but I actually get where your sister is coming from. You seem remarkably self-centered and thoughtless of the impact of your actions and behavior on others. How can you not think that running off to Ireland, getting married to someone you haven't seen for 14 years, and then telling everyone two weeks beforehand, despite being married for four months, wouldn't steal her thunder? Of course they are all going to be more interested in you because what you did was insane and so people will be wanting to talk about that. I think you know it would and that's why you waited. The ring request wasn't really the big problem but your overall behavior is. Now for the next story. Am I the idiot for fat shaming my friend's autistic boyfriend? My mom and stepdad had to go see my grandparents because of some emergency so it was just me, female 19, and my twin siblings, female 8, 8 m. I had planned on inviting two friends and my parents said I still could so they came. One of my friends brought her boyfriend, Mike. I usually don't mind, the more the merrier, but I'm not a fan of his. He's kind of a prick and blames it on his autism. But ick, I'm not really educated on all that. Anyways, my sister was playing in their playroom, but my brother was bored and wanted attention. He's really into having abs and muscles and being strong, and he does gymnastics and all that, so he was doing cartwheels and stuff till he got a little dizzy. He sat on my lap and started showing me his arms and asked if his muscles got bigger. 
he's eight, so he still has little arms, but I said OMG, they're totally getting bigger. Mike randomly interrupted to go, nah man, you got noodle arms. My brother didn't really catch what he said, so he just brushed him off, but I was upset. Discreetly told him to STFU. But Mike was all like what? I'm just telling the truth. He has to do a lot more than that to get some real muscles, noodle ass kid. I reminded him that my brother is eight, but he said that his age is irrelevant here. My brother then decided to show us another gymnastics move, I think it's a round off. But he did it and we all clapped for him. Except of course Mike. He went that was anticlimactic. He continued with, no offense, but this is the most unimpressive kid ever. Get out of here with you are skinny ass, I was honestly so pissed off at this point that I sarcastically said I'd like to see your fat ass try to do what he did. He immediately got upset and his girlfriend gasped like I said something outrageous. Where was her horror when her BF was insulting my kid brother? But Mike got all up in my face about being a witch before leaving. His girlfriend told me that I went too far ESP since I know he has autism and that she can't believe I fat shamed him when he isn't even that fat. Besides, he isn't wrong and your brother's annoying. My other friend that was there told me that she thinks he was rude but I did too much. Edit, I may be uneducated but I'm not stupid. If you're going to DM me anti-autistic people crap, I'm not going to reply it because I do not agree with your horrible remarks. My issue is not an excuse for people to be discriminatory towards those with autism. Like many people are saying in the comments, Mike is not a representation of those with autism. Just like how people wouldn't generalize not autistic people based on some assholes. We can all learn here. Thank you to all who provided insight. Not the idiot, autistic or not, who the hell stands by and lets a 19 years old bully an 8 years old. You did the right thing, sis. As if things aren't hard enough for Mike, he's going to make the wrong comment to the wrong person and it will be more than being called a fat ass. I hate it for the guy, but the real world is going to hit him like a ton of bricks. Also, if I'm mom or stepdad, Mike isn't allowed back in my house. Period. If a friend doesn't like it, she can stay out too. Not the idiot. This is coming from a fat 15 Y old. That was pretty reasonable due to him insulting your 8-8 eight, eight year old brother. Calling him out of his name. IDGAF autism or not doesn't excuse derogatory behavior flown at a child. And for your friend to explain it like this. Would she love a younger relative of hers to be called out of their name and insulted? Then only for that person to get an excuse because they are on the lighter side of the autism spectrum. Then let's hear their answer. Now for the next story. Am I the idiot for checking our nanny cam footage to prove I was being lied to? This will sound ridiculous, but just stick it out. Recently, my spouse, daughter, five, and I were having dinner together. He took some food off her plate to try a bite and she responded by shaking her finger and saying you need to ask. He said, I'm sorry, you're right, I should ask, and then a few minutes later, reached over to my place sitting and took some of my food without asking. I didn't think it was a great example for our daughter considering it happened moments earlier so I said you didn't ask. You just did the same thing to daughter. He said I assumed you were done eating and I said you assumed. But just asked me so he handed it back to me said can I have some of your garlic bread and I shared. Very calm normal exchange. Because this was a non-issue and I was not upset at the situation, we tried to use it in marriage counseling as an example of how to communicate in certain situations, mainly when I say something hurt me and my spouse wants to explain how he experienced the event instead of apologizing. It became an issue when he only wanted to give his side of the food story in counseling. Later that day, I asked him calmly again if he would like to share his side to see if it changes my perspective. I said I can't argue with your experience since we both agree on what happened and to my surprise he indicated we did not agree. He told me he took the garlic bread from my place because he got it for both of us. I knew this was nonsense as I order from this restaurant frequently and know how much garlic bread comes with the dish. I got insanely angry because we argue constantly about how things happen so I stormed off. Later he came to me and said I'm sorry I thought the garlic bread was mine and I was wrong. So by this point, I'd been told that he got garlic bread for us both, and then that he thought the bread was his. I felt crazy as I usually do when these conversations happen with him, so I thought to check the nanny cam to see what really happened. 
He handed me my food saying, and there's garlic bread on top for you, and then later, when I called him out for taking it from my place, he didn't say this bread is mine, or I got this to share, he said okay. Can I have some of your garlic bread? I took these clips from our nanny cam and sent them to him, asking why he would lie about something so small and turn it into a massive thing. He immediately got mad and said I can't believe you would do something as ridiculous as checking the camera. You're so out of line and stormed off. So Reddit, am I the asshole slash out of line for using our nanny cam to call my spouse out for lying? Not the idiot. You aren't out of line. You thought one thing happened, he said another thing did, so you went and verified and showed him, hey, actually, this is what happened. Instead of him going, huh, I guess you're right, my bad he got really angry and stormed off. A completely normal and not over the top reaction to being shown you are wrong. Not the idiot. He's gaslighting you and it sounds like he does it regularly. We argue constantly about how things happen and I felt crazy as I usually do when these conversations happen with him. You need to talk about this incident through therapy. He's gaslighting you. Like classic, full on gaslighting. Now for the next story. Am I the idiot for telling my fiance her sister isn't invited to our wedding? So, myself, male 27, and my fiance, female 28, have been together close to a year, engaged for half of that. We are planning a wedding in the fall of 24 and have started a guest list. She comes from a big family and I am an only child. We are close with one of her sisters in particular and often went to visit her and play board games and such. This sister has a fiancé and is pregnant. Recently, my fiancé told me that her sister was having a shotgun wedding before the baby arrived in order to keep with their traditional values and appease familial religious desires. Back up a bit. I've done a lot for her sister and soon-to-be husband. I planned a birthday party for his son from another marriage. I've given her rides and always brought small gifts when I would visit. I've gone as far as to stop everything I was doing to help her during a health scare while she was pregnant. I really felt like a part of the family. Fast forward. In a text to my fiancé upon announcing her wedding, her sister made it a point to say, it's a small wedding, no plus ones. OP can come to the dinner afterwards. All fine by me. I honestly don't really mind, as ceremonies can be dull and I understood why she would only want to have immediate family at her small wedding. I woke up on the day of the wedding to help my fiancé get ready and drive her over to her sister's house. I planned on driving my fiancé, her sister, and her sister's soon-to-be husband to the venue and bringing them to the dinner afterwards. My fiancé told me, it's okay, just drop me off at my sister's and we will get a ride over. A little odd, but I was fine with that too. I arrived over there and as my fiancé got out of the car I asked if I could come in and congratulate them. She seemed hesitant and said, uh, okay. Let me just text my sister to make sure. I was dressed in plain clothes and was hesitant and invited to come inside. We walked up to the house. Inside was a party of her siblings and their friends and significant others all dressed up. They all looked at me and didn't say much. I saw another one of her sisters and her new boyfriend was in a suit. Everyone was invited. The no plus ones only applied to me. I immediately left and in a text told my fiancé they were off the guest list for our wedding. My fiancé is upset at that because her sister is her close friend. She said maybe I did something to upset them which is why I wasn't invited, but I've been nothing but kind and caring to her entire family. I've spent hundreds of dollars and gone above and beyond for everyone. Now we are fighting over this. Am I the idiot? Not the idiot. Your fiancé went along with excluding and manipulating you into believing the no plus one rule. No matter how much she may try to pin it on the sister, family, whoever. She was an active participant. A true partner wouldn't have allowed that or at the absolute bare minimum would have been honest with you about why you weren't wanted at the event. This behavior is not even a red flag, it's a biohazard sign. You've been together for less than a year, so you still have ample room to make a clean break and find someone who appreciates and includes you. Not the idiot. However, your fiancé is a massive AH. To allow you to be so disrespected by her sister is bad enough, especially after your kindness. She is either stupid and didn't think you would be hurt, doubtful, or she didn't care. I would honestly rethink my engagement in your position. 
You haven't been together long and there are red flags all over this. Run before the shotgun is held to your head. If you like this video, you will probably like these too. Also while you're here, please consider subscribing. It's your support that keeps this channel alive and allows me to make better and longer videos. Have a great day.